I had to sit down and come up with ideas that I thought would really, really be of importance in handling um, diabetes at its initial stages as well as easy identification of diabetes at the very primary levels. Yes, and I'm very glad that I won this because I'm really very passionate about diabetes and also hypertension. I learned of the Mark Diabetes Award through uh, posters and online. The theme uh, caught my eye, uh, make their make every day a diabetes day. Diabetes is, is, is an increasing problem in uh, my country, Kenya. This award will uh, greatly enhance my career and will help uh, me in the management of my future patients. I participated in the Mark Hypertension Awards 2016. Uh, the theme for the Hypertension Award in particular being what the healthy heart needs. My concept paper was titled the Healthy Heart Handbook. I'm very excited to have won the Mark Hypertension Award 2016 because I am really interested in the area of um, non-communicable non diseases and in particular hypertension. My idea of treating hypertension is by primary prevention. If we concentrate at raising the awareness of hypertension, we'll go a long way in reducing the vice of hypertension in the society. Diabetes and hypertension are silent diseases diseases that uh, we know little about, that the public knows little about. So most patients tend to present late. Patients, once patients are diagnosed, they really don't adhere to their medications as well. We are very uh, poorly resourced, and therefore because, to, because of that fact, we end up um, having to handle the disease at its very late stages because patients will wait until when they can't really um, do anything about it, that is when they, they, they decide to visit a, a medical health, uh, health officer or healthcare provider. The Mark CMA is a highly anticipated event at the University of Nairobi every year because it's, an, it's, it's a great opportunity for people to increase, their, to expand their knowledge of diabetes and this year hypertension. Today when I came to the Mark CME, I planned on uh, refreshing my knowledge about diabetes, hypertension, um, learning as much about it as I can that was not classroom based, uh, that was practical based and I think my expectations were well met. In addition to that it also sparks students interest so that we can then go and do further research and expand general knowledge on, on these two important conditions. Uh, coming to this CME today I had very high expectations uh, given that I also attended past the CMEs for Mark. Uh, I was looking forward to having a uh, an in-depth understanding of diabetes uh, outside the classroom and I am very uh, grateful that those expectations have actually been met. We should have more of these by, organized by Mark because it's really building us and also building our careers on how we are going to have an approach, a different approach towards diabetes. From what we learned today on the basic pathophysiology of uh, diabetes, it's clear that we need to, I need to advise my patients on their sugar intake. I need to advise them on their diets and their lifestyles. This came out really clearly. And we were given examples of a practical approach on how to deal with patients who have diabetes and just to know that diabetes is a disease that is growing in caliber every single day and it's something that we have to know how to manage. I've learned today several new important aspects in the management of both diabetes and hypertension which will influence not only my studies but also my research interests going forward in my career. Today during the Mark CME, I was able to learn that when you're dealing with a patient who's diabetic, don't just see them as a diabetic. This is someone who has a life and other factors affecting them. So um, when, you, when you're approached by such a patient, you need to educate them on the condition and not just think of them as someone you treat medically and get rid of. I'll use what I've learned today to empower one, my family, two, my community, and three, my future patients. In future, I hope Mark expands its CME and uh, gives us more information on tropical diseases, especially uh, malaria, tuberculosis and HIV AIDS. This is going to equip students with very, very important skills in their training as well as in their future practice on how to easily identify these diabetes cases at their early stages as well as how to promptly initiate management. 
this uh, will really make a big difference in the lives of uh, patients and will improve care. I would like to thank Mark for the many opportunities they provide us students at the University of Nairobi, not only through their CMEs but also through this Hypertension Award, which is greatly increasing capacity in the management of non-communicable disease. Mm -hmm.